Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished participants, esteemed committee members, and our honored guests, a very warm welcome to the closing ceremony of the 2023 Ilsa Yuniza Mood Court Competition. I'm your host for this event, Farsak Ma'ud Rahman, and I'm thrilled to be here with all of you today. But before we proceed further, let us take a moment to express our gratitude and all to the Almighty, and I would like to invite Ahmad Yusuf to deliver the opening prayer. Can everyone hear my voice? Yes. yes. Okay. So I would like to ask for everyone to pray to the God. Auzubillah min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin, Hamdan Yafi Niamahu Waka Fi Mazida, Ya Rabban Alakal Hamduka Mayam Bari Lijale, Musical Karima Azim Sultan. Allah Musali Allah Sayyidina Muhammad, Wala Alhi, Wasabi, Was Barik Salam. Allah Ma Ya Barik, Ya Jabari Ya Aziz. Ya Allah, our Lord, indeed our meeting today is to express our gratitude for all your blessing to us so that we can continue all our good efforts. Ya Allah, you become the devotional service of those who are involved in this ceremony considered as a writer's act. We also beseech you so that the talents and the abilities you have based all upon us, we can use to advance our society and country as well as be able to contribute to good things for our religion and the Malaysian nation as a whole. Ya Allah, we truly beseech you for lasting faith and devoted heart, beneficial knowledge, true confidence, good practice, being active and striving in religious affairs, health and freshness, a perfect body, and we also pray well in which property, faith, knowledge, and noble personality, which is more than all humans. Ya Allah, our Lord, it first, if first our meeting was for good, then you make this parting as way of virtue. Stay and unite our hearts towards your pleasure, even though we are far apart. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana tawakina azab al-nar. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa barik wa sallam. Wa alhamdulillah kharabbil alameen. Amin. Alhamdulillah. Amin, amin, ya Rabbal Alamin. Thank you, Ahmad Yusuf, for guiding us to for the opening prayer. Your blessings set the tone of this remarkable occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, to give us the glimpse into the intense competition and the mood court problem itself faced by our talented participants, we have prepared a special video presentation. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this competition teaser video. There's no volume here. Yeah. 
We apologize. Can we have a moment, please? Um, we apologize for the technical difficulty, but uh, our technical are trying to fix the music issue. Um, we'll be back a few minutes. There has been a constant war, a war with fear. And are made to suffer until they have the courage to defeat it.
wow, the actual video. Very exciting, isn't it? But now it's, it is my pleasure to introduce our esteemed guest, the advisor of Ilsa Yuniza, Mr. Shafiq bin Sulaiman. Mr. Shafiq, please deliver your opening speech. All right, uh, good evening, everyone. Can you hear my voice? Am I audible? Yes, sir. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, esteemed judges, honorable guests, and brilliant participants, the preamble of Ilsa Yuniza Constitution reads, whereas we as International Law Students Association, chapter of University, Sultan Zainal Abidin, Ilsa Yuniza, believing that the principles of, of international law should be more fully understood and recognized, recognizing our duty and obligations to educate ourselves and our fellow students in the principles and purposes of international law, mindful that contacts and communications among students of international law from different parts of the world are necessary for international understanding and cooperations, realizing that students like you all have a unique opportunity and duty to promote peace and justice. So I sit before you today as the advisor of Ilsa Yuniza, filled with immense pride and profound satisfactions. Looking around this virtual room, I am humbled by the intellectual prowess, dedications and spirited competitions we have witnessed in the 2023 Ilsa Yuniza International Law Moot Court competitions. To our distinguished judges from around the world, we have truly made these competitions and international competitions. We thank you. The esteemed panel of judges who have presided over the various rounds of the competitions. These exceptional professionals and academics bring diverse experiences and perspectives from across mm -hmm. the globe. Their insight and expertise have significantly shaped the competitions. Some of these judges have also judged last year's competitions. Mr. Amber Chenyo from Pakistan, Dr. Umi Hani Mas'ud, UITM, and Professor Dr. Muhammad Hassan Ahmad, IIUM. Yeah. They are a testament to the quality and importance of Ilsa Yuniza International Law Mood Competitions in Malaysia and beyond. Your dedication, expertise, and guidance have made these competitions an authentic learning experience for all participants. We have been privileged to have you share your wisdom and knowledge. To the participants, I congratulate you. You have proven that the future of international law is indeed bright. You have shown great understanding, ingenuity, and professionalism throughout these competitions. For this year's competitions for the first time, we have participants from Malaysia and the world over. Thank you to our friends from University Technology Mara, UITM, Universitas Pembangunan Nasional Veteran, and Universitas Hassanuddin for joining us. Regardless of the outcome, each one of you is a winner. You have spent months on the mood problem, reading, studying, and analyzing. You have undertaken challenging legal questions, thought critically about complex legal issues, and presented your arguments eloquently and passionately, you should be immensely proud of your accomplishment. In case you wondered who wrote The Mood Problem, well, it's me. I am the author of The Mood Problem. It took me months to finish writing it, so it's fair to say that you spend the same amount of time dealing yeah. with it. To our generous sponsors who express our deepest gratitude, our bronze sponsor, Dr. Aircon has kindly contributed RM400 to our event, our gold sponsor, SAA Engineering and Marine Sindriam Berhad, has generously contributed RM1000. Your generosity and support are greatly appreciated and help ensure the success of this significant event. Your contributions assist us in hosting these competitions and nurturing the future minds of international law. Your support, has been instrumental in making this event a reality. I appreciate your commitment to nurturing the legal minds of tomorrow. To the organizing committee, my appreciation for your effort knows no bounds, especially those in the competition office, Ms. Awatif and the rest. 
your hard work, attention to detail, and relentless dedications in organizing this event has been remarkable. This event has been filled with intellectual fire fireworks, legal prowess, yeah. our shared experience will resonate with us far into the future. Let us carry forward this spirit as we continue to study, teach, and practice international law. As we conclude the 2023, Ilsa Yuniza International Law Moot Court Competitions. Let us remember the invaluable lessons we have learned, made a camaraderie, mutual respect, and shared learning we experience in this competition inspire us. May we remain dedicated to pursuing knowledge, justice, and international law. Once again, thank you all for being part of this magnificent competitions. Fiat Parts, Fiat Justitia. Thank you and see you again next year. Thank you so much, Mr. Shafiq bin Sulaiman, for your blessing work. Now it is time to recognize and appreciate the exceptional effort and talent showcase throughout this competition. I would like to announce the prizes to be awarded. The winner of this competition will receive not only recognition, but also substantial rewards. Here are the prizes that we presented today. For the best memorial team, they will receive RM100 ringgit and a plaque. For best oral leaf, both teams, preliminary and final round, they will receive ringgit Malaysia 75 ringgit and a plaque. And for the runner up, they were awarded 150 ringgit and a plaque. And finally, the champion will receive 200 ringgit and a plaque. In addition, all the risks will be presented with digital certificate of participation. To commemorate the journey and experience shared during this competition, we have prepared a special montage video. Let Take a drip down memory lane and relieve. Let's take a drip down memory lane and relieve the highlight of the 2023 Isaiza Mood Court Competition. Now it is time. Now it is present. It is time to present the much-awaited award, ladies and gentlemen. I kindly request for your attention as we honour the outstanding performer of this competition. 
for the first award for the best oralist. The next award is for the best oral release for final round. The recipient of the And for the runner-up team, is the one recognized the team that is very remarkable And finally, what we have been waited for months. The champion of the Ilsa Unija. Congratulations to all the winners. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Ladies and gentlemen, please note that the winner of the best memorial team award will be notified separately as the judge are currently evaluating and summoning the memorial. As we are near to the end of this remarkable event, I would like to invite the program director, Ms. Umasri Biravadran, to deliver the closing speech. Thank you so much, Faris. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my honour to address you as the Director of 2023 Ilsa Unisang International Law Moot Court Competition. Firstly, I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to all the winners of this year's competition. Your hard work and dedication have, been brought, have brought you to this moment of triumph. Countless hours of research intense preparation and persuasive arguments, you have demonstrated your ability to navigate complex legal issues. I am confident that your success here will be a stepping stone towards a promising future in the field of international law. However, it is important to acknowledge that success does not solely lie in reaching the finals or being crowned as champions. To all the participants who did not make it to the finals, I want you to know that your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Each of you has showed remarkable resilience, uh, resilience, courage, and determination throughout this journey. I hope that this competition has sharpened your legal skills and expanded your knowledge in ways that will benefit you in the future, in your future endeavors. Remember, success is not always measured by th trophies, but by lessons we learn and growth we achieve along the way. I would also like to take a moment to express my deep gratitude to the committee members who have tirelessly worked behind the scenes to make this competition a resounding success. 
as a, as a first year law student and a first time organizer, I can attest to the challenges that we face in planning and executing this event. Without your invaluable efforts, this event would not have been possible. So once again, congratulations to all the winners and to all the participants. I commend you for your dedication and passion. Let us celebrate the bonds that we have formed, the knowledge we have acquired, and the extraordinary achievements of this year's Ilsa Yuniza International Law Moot Court Competition. Thank you, and may your futures be filled with continued success. Back to you, Faris. Thank you so much, Masi, for a very inspiring word. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before we conclude this event, let us take a moment to express our heartfelt gratitude to the individual organization to the individual organization who have contributed to the success of this competition. First and foremost, we would like to extend our deepest appreciation to our goal sponsor. SAA Engineering and Marine Syndrome Berhad for their generous support. Next, we would like to acknowledge our bronze sponsor, Dr. Ekon, for their invaluable contribution. We also like to express our sincere gratitude to the participant university, Universitas Hassanuddin, UNHAS, University Sultan Tanah Abidin, UNIZA, University Technology Mara, UITM, and Universitas Pembangunan Nasional Veteran Jakarta, UPNVJ. Lastly, we would like to thank all the judges who dedicate their time, expertise and wisdom to evaluate the participant's performance. And of course, special thanks to our host university, University Sultan Zainal Abidin, and the Faculty of Law and International Relations, Fuha Yuniza, for hosting this memorable event. With that, we have come to the end of the 2023 Ilsa Yuniza Moot Court Competition. Closing from me. Once again, congratulations to all the winners. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope to see you again in the future endeavor. Have a wonderful day. I'm your MC, Farisang Wangraman, and until then. Yeah.